So, you want to make some char to use as tinder for your next fire. But you don't have a char tin. That does seem like a problem. But it's not a problem at all. You don't need any gear whatsoever to create char. All you need is a bit of ground, which isn't too hard to come by, or just an ordinary metal container. I'm going to demonstrate these two processes, one with an ordinary inconspicuous canteen cup, and one without any gear whatsoever. We're just going to bury it in the ground. The materials I want to char today are just a couple pieces of birch polypore, a bracket fungus. I've created a small dent in each piece, just so you know it's legit, and that I'm not swapping it out for a piece of charcoal. So, let's get started. If you choose to go for the ground method, before you start your fire, make a nice little wooden perimeter for it. It will serve as a reference point to help you find where you buried your material. I bury my material right at the corner to make it easy to find again. It's very easy to lose it if you just wing it. So just cover it up with a fine layer of dirt, just to prevent it from being scorched if it comes into direct contact with embers, and most importantly, to prevent any oxygen from reaching it. For the canteen cup method, just place the material you want to char underneath the cup simple stuff. So now all the materials are prepped and ready to go, just gotta build that fire. Manipulate the fire so it eventually centers around the location of your materials, surrounding it or covering it with red hot embers and flame. Then just let the fire do its thing. To char our material then all we really need is a low oxygen environment. If oxygen can't swoop in and react with all the hydrogen molecules being spewed out of the material, then the material will just char rather than burn and combust. For it to combust then oxygen must chemically react with the hydrogen molecules. A byproduct of this chemical reaction is a large amount of energy in the form of heat and light, which we all know as flame. So expose a material to intense heat but deny it an oxygen flow and it will turn into char. Easily done. Bury it, cover it or smother it. Since there's no indication of when the material has finished charring, just check up on it in 10 minute intervals. Scrape the embers away very carefully and take a peek inside. As you can see, this one hasn't completely charred just yet. So we'll scrape the embers back around it, build the fire up again, then leave it for another 10 minutes. So now the moment of truth. Have both the materials charred. That's one piece, good game. And there's the second piece, that's some grade A char right there. Ready for your next fire starting endeavour. But it's very important that you allow these charred materials to cool down, as they'll still be piping hot when you take them out, then they may begin to smoulder when exposed to oxygen. So cover them back up for a while, or place some damp living moss over it or spit on it to dampen it and prevent it from smouldering. And there you go, easy peasy char, done in a very unique way. Peace bros.